Good morning. I hope everyone is well. This morning's story is going to be about Joseph and Joseph and his dreams. You can see this. We were just talking here in class because we are in our Sunday school class downstairs, and we were talking about how they made colors because Joseph had a really cool robe. Jacob lived in Canaan with his 12 sons. All of his sons, of all of his sons, he loved Joseph the most as his mother was his beloved wife, Rachel. He made Joseph a beautiful coat woven in all of the brilliant colors of the rainbow. Jacob's other sons were jealous of Joseph because he was so favored. And when they saw him in his coat of many colors, they hated him. One night, Joseph had a dream. And when he had told his brothers his dream, they hated him even more. I dreamed, he said, that we were in the fields at harvest, tying up sheaves of wheat. My sheaf of wheat stood upright while, though, while your sheaves bow down to it. Soon afterward, Joseph had another dream. I dreamed, he said, that the sun and the moon in the sky and 11 stars were all bowing down to me. When the brothers heard his words, they were furious. A few days later, they took their flocks to graze in the field some distance away. And Jacob sent Joseph to see that all was well. The brothers had a clear view of the road and saw Joseph approaching in his multicolor coat. Now this is our chance. We can kill him and throw him into this pit. We can say that a wild animal attacked him. But Reuben, who had a kind heart, spoke out. Don't let us kill him. We don't want his blood on our hands. Much better just to throw him into the pit and leave him to his fate. And to this, the brothers agreed, not knowing that secretly Reuben was planning to return later and rescue Joseph and take him home. When Joseph reached them, his brothers attacked him at once, ripping off his coat and throwing him into the pit. And they left him there without food or water. And then they sat down to eat. At twilight, a group of excuse me, Amalekites came by they were on their way to Egypt with camels loaded with spices, balm, and myrrh. Judah suggested that they sell Joseph as a slave to the traders. Then they would be rid of the brother they hated without having to kill him. So Joseph was sold for 20 pieces of silver, and he was taken to Egypt. Meanwhile, the brothers killed a young kid, dipped Joseph's coat in its blood. Their father was filled with horror when they showed it to him. This is Joseph's coat. My beloved son must have been killed by some wild beast. Jacob tore his clothes in grief and wept, and no one was able to comfort him. So now we're going to find out what happened to Joseph when he got to Egypt. And this story continues with him being a slave. When they arrived in Egypt, they sold Joseph to one of Pharaoh's officers, Potiphar, captain of the guard. Joseph worked hard for Potiphar, who was so impressed by his skills that he made him head of his household. Now, Joseph was a handsome young man, and before long, he caught the eye of Potiphar's wife. She tried very hard to, re hard to seduce him, but Joseph resisted her. Your husband treat trusts me, he said, you cannot ask me to betray him. Potiphar's wife did not care for her husband or for Joseph's objections. Day after day, she'd lay in wait, teasing and tempting him, and still he refused. Then one day, in desperation, she cornered Joseph and caught hold of him by the sleeve of his coat. But he was too quick for her, and he made his escape, leaving her with nothing but an empty garment in her hands. Then she summoned all of the servants. Look what this Hebrew tried to do, she said, holding up Joseph's coat. He forced his way into my bedroom, and when I cried out, he fled, leaving his coat behind. When her husband came home, he was told the same false story, and Potiphar, enraged, immediately had Joseph thrown into prison. 
Fortunately, however, the jailer took a liking to the young man and put him in charge of all of the other prisoners. It so happened that in the prison, while with Joseph, where Pharaoh's cupbearer were cup... Try again. It so happened that in the prison with Joseph were Pharaoh's cupbearer and royal baker. One night, each of them had a dream, which in the morning they asked Joseph to explain. In my dream, the cupbearer, said the cupbearer, I saw a vine with three branches bearing ripe grapes. I squeezed the juice from these grapes into a cup, which I gave to Pharaoh to drink. Your dream, said Joseph, means that in three days, Pharaoh will pardon you. I, said the baker, dreamed that I had three baskets of bread for Pharaoh stacked on my head, and a flock of birds flew down and ate every crumb. Joseph looked grave. I'm sorry to say that your dream means that in three days, Pharaoh will have you hanged. And it happened just as Joseph said. Within three days, the cupbearer was restored to his job, and the baker was hanged. Now, that is our story for this morning. We will continue next week with two more stories about Joseph because he has a lot of things to teach us. I hope you have a great day.